My name is Paul Scardino, and I have the largest collection of Funko Pops in the world. Welcome to my madness. We're gonna walk through my collection today. Now here behind me is the Marvel section of the collection, which is quite a few pops. Now this starts the Marvel Cinematic Universe pops. So all the Marvel movies in sort of an order, starting with the first Avengers. The really cool thing about the Marvel pops is that they're all bobbleheads. Thor Dark World, they finally came out with a Wong pop. And then moving down is some of the Avengers movies, the second movie which was Age of Ultron. And then we move down to Captain America Civil War. We got the Falcon, War Machine, Black Panther, the introduction of Spider-Man into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is this pop here and this pop here, this Hawkeye. These were the very first two pops that I ever had. And from there, it turned into this, which is crazy, but um, I'd never heard of pops before. I love Marvel stuff, that's how it starts. First Guardians of the Galaxy movie and the Black Panther movie. The Thor movies. So this is from Thor Ragnarok that had the Hulk in it. And then the very back shelf is the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And that's where all these Groots are from too. So we have baby Groot and then he grows up into an adolescent Groot, Groot with an attitude. So this shelf right here is a recent line that has come out from Marvel called First Appearances. So these are the actual first appearances in their outfits that the character appeared in the comic book. And then moving down, we have a Spider-Man shelf. This is Spider-Man when he appeared in a Fantastic Four story and he had a Fantastic Four suit on with a bag over his head. These are variant versions and exclusives of some of the Marvel characters. So they're just different outfits, different poses, different colors. And this next shelf is the Deadpool shelf. Um, Deadpool has probably the most pops of himself out of the Marvel line. The, the first 10 years, kind of the 10th anniversary of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and they came out with a chrome edition of each of the, some of the Marvel characters. This shelf has Marvel heroes on it and it's kind of the first pop version of those heroes so some of these are a little bit older Going down to the shelf below that there's some more characters some more recent characters the red versions of the hulk and she hulk x-men this is the x-men collection like professor x and cyclops and colossus storm and then next we have another deadpool shelf we have deadpool the duck my favorite of them being the bob ross uh deadpool version and the bottom shelf here for the Marvel, these are all the Venomized Pops, where they, they take a Marvel character and they Venomize it. It's really cool designs. Now the collection wouldn't be complete regarding superheroes unless I had some DC heroes as well. The DC movies, I haven't been as enjoyable for me as the Marvel movies, but I still have quite a few DC Pops. Robin, Batgirl, Supergirl, Superboy, and then on this next shelf, we have some more, some of them are more recent characters. John Constantine, Swamp Thing, Batman Beyond. Moving down here, these are variants of some of the DC characters. This next shelf has more variants of Superman. This is Superman's first appearance. And one of my favorite shelves um, is the Batman shelf. And some of them are really campy, and, but they're from the comic books, like this and this and that. And he was actually a caveman in one story, believe it or not. We have some of the television section. So over here we have the popular show, The Walking Dead. We have a bunch of Daryl Dixon's Herschel. Even Chris Hardwick from The Talking Dead. So we have one of my favorite shows here, which is Breaking Bad. And then we have Mad Men, which Preacher, which was on AMC. All the pops from the Umbrella Academy. The Vikings, Outlander, Sons of Anarchy here, which is a great show. So we have Sesame Street and the Muppets. And we even have Jim Henson and Holding Permit. I have an almost complete set of the Power Ranger pops. Some of the shows that my wife is more into, like Once Upon a Time and uh, Gilmore Girls. Not so much Battlestar Galactica, but that was a, a good show. Lost 
and uh, Scrubs, the 100, the Brady Bunch, and my top pops is this one right here, MacGyver. We got I Love Lucy, Netflix series Glow, which is pretty funny, Baywatch, Mr. T and the A-Team, Mr. Robot. We have the original Star Trek, and we have the Star Trek The Next, Next Generation. In the back here, we have X-Files, Firefly. So we have Jesse with the van from Breaking Bad, and Mr. T and his A-Team van. We have um, the Knight Rider, David Hasselhoff. And then one of my favorite pop rides, Scarface, and his his convertible. In this section, the, this shelf is mainly comedy. So this whole shelf is mainly the Big Bang Theory, the complete uh, first series of Friends, and then the second line that they came out with, complete set, Arrested Development, pops from The Office, even Prison Mike. We have um, Parks and Rec. We also have Modern Family, Community, and Veep. One of, one of my favorite shows when I was a kid was Saved by the Bell. So we have a complete set of Saved by the Bell. And we have the Jeffersons, complete set of Cheers, Yo Gabba Gabba. So this area here is a lot of the Funko mascot, which is Freddy Funko. The character from Dumb and Dumber, they have him surfing, they have him as the Joker, Merman from He-Man. This one here, which is not a Freddy Funko but it's a Valentine's stitch. So this is actually the pop that I gave to my now wife when I proposed to her on Valentine's Day. So we moved around the bookshelf and these are more television um, Funkos. So this, this section here is almost a complete set of the Game of Thrones. Daenerys in, on, on Drogon is the mountain in his armored outfit. Sherlock Holmes from the BBC. And then we have the new, newer show Billions. So for Doctor Who fans, this is a neat shelf. And so it's in order by Doctor. And then moving over, we have Buffy, Supernatural, the Riverdale set, and kind of randomly, we have the Teletubbies here. Pee Wee Herman, Mr. Bean, um, Mr. Rogers, almost a whole row of Bob Ross, Xena, Warrior Princess, and then Ellen. Now moving up starts the Dragon Ball Z section. The Super Saiyan, and moving up are some of the villain characters from the show with Balma and Krillin, Trunks, and so on. Over here is some of the, the television and movie moments. Um, so this is from Stranger Things. And then the Stranger Things pops are broken down by season. The season one, the season two, and probably the character that stole that show was Bob. And the third shelf is the most recent, season three. We have Orange is the New Black, which has nothing to do with Stranger Things, but except for they both were on Netflix. The Addams Family here. And then the rest of this shelf is American Horror Story. Back here is The Leftovers. So we turn around and this wall here is more sports, mainly NFL football pops. The Bo Jackson, Mike Ditka, Dan Reno, Saquon Barkley, Patrick Mahoney's, Lamar Jackson. So we have some UFC pops. As soon as they made a pop of a fighter, they lost their title soon after that, except for Khabib. And then this is an almost complete set of NASCAR, Tiger Woods, Tony Hawk. Starting on this wall are the movie category pops. First couple shelves here are all Harry Potter, like Harry, Ron, Hermione, of course, Dumbledore, characters from the school. Harry Potter's. They added a lot of different costume variants for him. We have a almost complete set of the first Fantastic Beasts. And the bottom row here is all Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and moving through the various movies. This next shelf starts the horror movies. Uh, a lot of Pennywise pops. They even have a movie moment scene where the um, the main character is reaching down and there's the creepy Pennywise clown in the gutter. He looks pretty cool, that, that Jaws. Like Dracula, Frankenstein, Mummy, Werewolf, some of the classic uh, Universal movies. We have some Gremlins, Pops, uh, Shaun of the Dead, a uh, really freaky pop from the new movie, The Nun. And this is Alfred Hitchcock. So they make director pops as well. And then this is from the movie Get Out. Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter, 
Psycho, Evil Dead, um, Alien Pop, Sigourney Weaver's character, and then a couple of Predators in the back as well. Freddy Krueger, a couple different versions of him, Jason, Michael Myers, the girl from The Exorcist, different Chuckies, Texas Chainsaw. These are a lot of my, my favorite movie pops that I put kind of together here. So like the Pulp Fiction pops here, Kill Bill, I have a Clubber Lang from Rocky, Robocop, the complete set of The Godfather and Scarface, a complete set of The Matrix pops. And in the back, we have Braveheart, V for Vendetta, uh, Chuck Norris, and then one of my favorite heroes of all time, Bruce Lee. Some more movies here. We have the some Transformers. We have Die Hard. Uh, the Wizard of Oz pops here. I was lucky to find these. Breakfast at Tiffany's. We have Taxi Driver. Uh, John Wick pop. They just came out with another one. We have Labyrinth. The next shelf is mainly uh, 1980s, starting with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, a complete set, uh, Back to the Future. This one with Marty McFly and his skateboard is really difficult to find. Then in the back, we have a combination of 16 Candles and the, Be and the Breakfast Club. E.T., so the Goonies. We have Bill and Ted, The Fifth Element, which is one of my wife's favorite movies here. And then Flash Gordon, we have Ghostbusters, some more recent movies, like the newer Star Trek movie, Scott Pilgrim, the Ghostbusters with the female cast, The Hateful Eight, some of the, some cult classic movies like Clueless, Mean Girls, The Hunger Games, Twilight, The Shape of Water, a lot of the James Bond pop, the Hellboy reboot, the first Independence Day movie with Will Smith's character. And then this shelf has a bunch of cool pops on it. The Big Lebowski, almost a full set. The first Men in Black, the newest Terminator movie, and the first Jurassic Park. We have Dirty Dancing, Ferris Bueller, Reese. We got some Forrest Gump pops. A lot of Tom Hanks in a row. And then the complete set of Titanic. But these are all comedy uh, pieces starting from, we got Wayne's World, uh, Austin Powers, Step Brothers. Uh, we got Monty Python, Tom Hanks on the keyboard. A few more movies that are more recent, um, like Jurassic World. They made these different dinosaur pops and also a 10 inch T-Rex, Blade Runner, it's How to Train Your Dragon. So this kind of starts the animated kids movies, Secret Life of Pets, the Penguins from Madagascar movie, the original Space Jam. And this top shelf is mainly dominated by Minions. So this is Despicable Me. Down this long wall of, of pops is starting the animation set, a uh, common set of Thundercats. Of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This shelf has mainly Scooby-Doo on it. More of the wacky races and some other Hanna-Barbera. And the back row is all Care Bears. Some more animation. These are Looney Tunes, Bob's Burgers. And then the, the rest of this shelf are The Simpsons, like Bart Man, Radioactive Man. Uh, so we got Ren and Stippy Pops here, Rugrats. And the back row is SpongeBob. Some rides as well. This is from Rick and Morty mainly South Park, which was really neat that they made South Park pops and a lot of the different characters. This next shelf has Peanuts. So we have Bojack Horseman, Big Mouth, and Disenchanted, the newest version of Voltron. So we have all the He-Man uh, common pops here. This is almost a complete set of Rick and Morty. And at the very top is an Adventure Time, an almost complete set. So now is the Disney part of the collection, which there's a lot of cool Disney pops that they came out with like Minnie, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and uh, Pinocchio, the Jungle Book, Robin Hood, original princesses, uh, Aladdin and Little Mermaid, The Lion King. And then some more Disney goodness down here, we have Monsters, Inc. And in the back row are just a whole bunch of Lilo and Stitches. And these are really cool, Roger Rabbit. And uh, the last shelf on this side for Disney, we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It's pretty much a complete set of the Cars series. They're actual cars. Uh, the most recent Incredibles movie. And this, this shelf is entirely Toy Story. Rex is, oh, there goes another one. And then up here is mainly Frozen. Nerd princesses they came out with, these 
Disney princesses with glasses, basically. The last shelf here has kind of live action Pirates of the Caribbean. Over in this section here, we have the Funko ad icons, the Coca-Cola bear and Charlie the Tuna and all sorts of things. Tony the Tiger is probably my favorite uh, and then he also happens to be the most valuable. Um, now they're worth several hundred dollars now. And we also have Snap, Crackle and Pop. Over here, we have some icons um, that they just recently came out with. Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Stan Lee, of course. We have our wrestlers. My favorite WWE character is Bret the Hitman Hart. This section starts the sports pops. Collected all the different MLB pops that have come out, but specifically I was excited when this guy came out, Francisco Lindor from the Indians. And then starts the NBA pops. Ron James, when he was on the Miami Heat. So being from Cleveland, um, LeBron not being with the Cavs anymore is kind of a sore spot, but I did still um, get his Lakers pops. So in this section here, we have the pop rocks, the rock star pops that they've come out with, from the Beatles to Prince. So this is more of a pop type shelf, like with NSYNC and Britney Spears and Justin Bieber. So now we're in another back room, if, as if all that wasn't enough. Uh, this is where I keep all the Star Wars pops. On this shelf is all the original Star Wars from the first three movies in the 80s. And one thing about Star Wars, just like the Marvel, they're all bobbleheads. And then we have some of the original pops that they came out with for Star Wars, like Luke, Leah, Han Solo, Chewbacca, and so on. And then moving down, we have the villains. So starting with Darth Vader and Boba Fett, Darth Maul, Jabba the Hutt. It's a cool pop. And this third shelf starts some of the variants of the heroes. So different types of Leahs with different outfits, different Luke Skywalkers. Over here we have some more Star Wars. These are from the more, most recent movies that they've come out with. And then the second shelf is from the second movie where they introduced Porg. The other newest Star Wars movies like Rogue One and the Han Solo movie that came out recently and some of the villain characters are in the back and even just recently got some of the Mandalorian TV show. So a couple Mandalorian pops. Um, the newest movie that just came out, the third of the new Star Wars movies, these are some of, the, some of the pops from that. I think Funko Pops have become so popular because they, they capture the essence of, of our childhoods and just some of our most favorite characters. And, you know, people are willing to do a lot for the stories that they love and the characters that they love. And to have your own character in, in a collectible version that's, you know, cute, it's, it, it looks like that character. Um, you yeah, know, that's, that's a, a really good idea.